Hi there, Casey and Jen oh. here with another patient in <laughs> ale. Okay. He said ale, and I'm like, oh, what? Together. Yeah. Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about modifications and props, and we're going to be using an overball, one of our favorite props, to help us strengthen up the deep neck flexors, which is such a huge piece of ab curling, but mm. then also the tension in the head, neck, and shoulders. Everybody on the computers, the forward heads, the driving. Absolutely. Oh. Yep, so what we really wanna do is look at what's happening in the front of the neck. So I'm gonna have Jen lay down with her head on the overball. There you go, scoot back a little bit. And notice, yep, let's get it nice and centered, that i am placed myself in back of Jen. You know what, Jen, let's have you scoot down just a little okay. bit. Yeah, let's get you. Yeah, yeah, there we okay. go. Perfect. All right. So now that we're all set. So here, I'm looking at Jen's body for a baseline alignment. And a lot of times, no matter if you're on the mat or um, on the reformer or Cadillac, it's really nice to either go in back of the client or in front of the client and see from this angle too, because you can really see where the body's aligned. So we have the overball underneath her head. I like to think about the middle of the ball being right at ear height here. And this is a really nice kind of key down place for your clients to go because they can let their head drop deeply onto the ball, almost like they're spreading the back of their brain onto it. Now, Jen, what I'm gonna have you do is to start to twist the head to the left, but I want you to use the ball as a fulcrum for movement. So you're not gonna tell the ball where to go, but the ball is gonna tell your head where to twist. And so what we're seeing is, how does Jen's body neck and head rotate to the left. Now bring yourself back center, continuing to give your head to the overball. Good. And now over to the right. So here, Jen does something a little funny. So on the, on the left side, she had no problem turning, but on the right side, she does a chin jut out towards the corner. So what I wanna see is, can Jen find a little bit and I'm cueing by pulling the tissue and the back of the head to elongate the left flexor so that she can find a little bit, yes, easier turn in the head. And now bring it center. So one more time to the left. And so this is just checking out how Jen's head spins on the neck. And this is a really nice place, and if you can see my hands, I'm going right along the SCM and giving her a beautiful little tug here, mm -hmm. which feels really, really good, mm -hmm. and then bring it center. So this training of how to turn your head on your neck is very important for all of the movements that we make. Now, what I'm going to have Jen do is a little bit of nodding. So I want you to tuck your chin in towards your neck, but keep your head heavy on the ball. Again, I can take my hands and give her a nice little tug here. Now, can you let your head be even heavier? Oh, there you go. And then keep spilling the skull onto the ball as you lift your chin up in the air. So again, the ball is like a teeter-totter. She can feel the right and left side of her head touching and go ahead and tuck. And I want a little bit more weight on the ball on the right side. Yes, very good. So this is activating the neck flexors and then chin to the ceiling. And again, can you lengthen out this? Ah, there we go, good. Now keep your chin like this, Jen. Can you hover your head up and off of the ball? Just a little bit, here we go. And then keep hovering as you tuck the chin. Feel that elongation again with your fingers. You're guiding them, giving them some traction, and then the chin places the head down. This is wonderful neck flexor work. One more time, Jen. So the chin goes up, she Elevates the head off of the ball, very good. Now tuck the chin, elongate the back of the neck, keep the back of the solar plexus on the mat, that's a big mm -hmm. cue, and then down and rest. Very good, Jen. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's a little bit of neck flexor work, and mm -hmm. we'll see you soon.